this is quite easy actually. Just open a game engine and create a good game. That's literally all there is to it. And that's all for me. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Okay, sorry, but now for real. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas, CEO and lead programmer at Bite Me Games. Most indie developers quit before ever releasing their first game. I think this is due to how unprepared a lot of people are to tackle the massive beast that is creating a game. Only to come to the realization that they have bitten off more than they can chew. And because of that, they get demotivated. Games are just simply massive and require a long time to make, which can be another letdown for many. And because of that, they stop. So you want to get started with game dev. Great. This video should help you give a rough overview of how you can get started. For more specific information regarding some topic, uh, topics we mentioned here, you can always have a look at our previous videos or subscribe since we will cover all of these at a later date. With that out of the way, let's get into how you should get started. What we recommend is to everyone to get started by following YouTube tutorials. I do believe this is a good first date with your game engine, but it is probably more of a hookup than a long-term relationship. Once you've gotten uh, to know the engine a bit more, uh, it's probably time to take it to the next phase. And in this phase, look for a very simple game that think the likes of Flappy Bird, Crossy Road, and so on, and try to create it without any tutorials. You can, of course, still Google things, search for specific problems and so on. Just try to let go of the hand-holding that happens in tutorials. And once you did this, consider this your first self-made game. Congrats. All right, the first thing you will have to do is decide what game engine you'll be using. Unity, Unreal, Godot are probably the most popular ones at the time of writing, and each engine has their own benefits and drawbacks. If you want us to cover these in different, uh, the, the differences between these engines and details, let us know in the comments below or message us on any of our socials. Links are, of course, in the description. For our projects, we use Unity, mainly because we have the most experience with this engine. And if you are considering Unity, I'd say give it a shot. I think it's one of the most safe and versatile choices out there. Of course, there's more personality to a game apart from the engine you've chosen. Uh, you will need a variety of assets. This could be 2D art, 3D models, music, or just extensions for your game engine. Be sure to stay tuned so we have an upcoming video about the last one, as you will probably be wanting to make some of those assets yourself. Uh, you'll be using some other programs like Blender or 3D models or Krita and GIMP for 2D arts. By now you've experienced what it's like to create a game in a game engine. Uh, most of the things you made up until now are probably copies of simple games that already exist. And now it's time to think of a game you want to make. Done? Great. Now, rethink this game, but lessen the scope and size by about 99%. It is very important to start small. No indie that I know of has ever built an MMORPG as its first game, so take it easy. At this point in time, you should have a rough idea of what you want to make. Depending on your project, you may want to consider writing a game design document. Not sure if you need a game design document, you can learn about them and when you should use them in our video dedicated to them. You got your ID, you maybe have a game design document. Great, now the long and heavy road of building the game begins. Especially on your first few projects, cut yourself some slack. Early on, it's very hard to just start doing every aspect that it makes up a game. Having friends with different skill sets can also greatly help. If this option is not available for you, consider making uh, your project using tools that are available publicly. By the Unity Asset Store or free options are all valid. Just make sure you actually get the game done. These tools can range from a simple inventory system for the less code literate to some models for the less artistic. If you do decide to go this route, make sure you do not buy or use something that is core to your gameplay or story without at least heavily modifying it. This avoids your game feeling like an asset flip. Before we wrap it up here, here are a couple of quick tips to keep your progress smooth throughout the creation progress. One, set yourself a minimum of working five minutes a day. Your, on your project, this can often lead to working longer sessions, but it's super beneficial if getting started is an issue for you. Two, use version control. Unity Collaborate and perhaps GitHub are great tools to use for this. This creates checkpoints, so to say, of where you were in your development journey and can help if you want to go back in time a bit. Three, 
ask feedback. A friend or family member might have something useful to say. See how they interact with your game and tweak it accordingly. Short feedback loops are really important for almost any project. And most of all, remember this. Making a game is an immense task for anyone out there. It requires a ton of time and effort. You will have hardships and at times you may, ever cur uh, you may curse you ever embarked on this journey. But believe me, when I say nothing beats the feeling of finishing a game and seeing people interact with it. It may not be perfect, but it is a piece of yourself that you are etching into history. And you should be proud. Just don't give up. Or like a wise, a wise man once said, Just! Don't let your dreams be dreams. And that's all I have to share with you guys, this week at least. Um, have you already had some game dev experience? Let us know in the comments down below. Apart from that, if you want to follow along with the progress of our own game, as well as getting more insights into the workings of a game dev company, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That's all for me for this week. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next week.